Three buckets are tied together and are accelerating upwards. We have force tension one, which does hold both of the buckets, and force tension two, which holds only one bucket. Now, according to the caption here, we have 130 newtons is equal to uh, force tension two. And our job really is to find the value of force tension one. Now, understanding that force tension two has a value that's known already, that's what we're going to start with because let's look at our free body diagram. So we have a force tension two going upwards and a force gravity going downwards here. Uh, knowing this value really helps us understand something. We need to figure the acceleration of both of these buckets in order to figure out the value of force tension one here. So I'll write the free body diagram or free body diagram equation for that first. So I'll say force net is equal to force tension two minus force gravity. So F equals MA for force net. So I'm going to say 9.0A is equal to 130 minus 9.0 times 9.8. And solving for acceleration, we get 4.64 meters per second squared. I'm keeping X our significant digit now since we're not done with the question. Now we're going to have the same force net equation for force tension 1, uh, except for our masses are going to be 16 because force tension 1 is responsible for carrying both of these buckets. So we're going to say force net... And again, this is for force tension 1 equals force tension 1 minus force gravity. So again, same equation. So now I need to put in 16 multiplied by acceleration of 4.64 equals force tension 1 minus force gravity. And again, it's going to be 16 times 9.8. And then the value of force tension 1 is going to equal 230 newtons, rounded to two significant digits. Now, if we compare that to the 130 of force tension 2, it kind of makes sense because force tension 1, again, must accelerate both buckets at 4.64 meters per second squared, where force tension 1 only has one bucket okay, to accelerate at that value. And we notice that force tension 1 and force tension 2, okay, is greater in value than just simply the value of the newtons. So in other words, 9 kilograms is about 90 newtons, but this is 130 because this cable has to hold the approximate 90 newtons of the bucket, but also accelerate it upwards. And likewise, you know, there's about 160 newtons between both of these buckets, and force tension 2 not only, or force tension 1, not only has to hold the weight, okay, of 160 newtons about, but it also must accelerate it upwards at 4.64 meters per second squared. And that's why the tension values are greater than just simply gravity force.